Hey guys, I'm Christy and welcome back to Photoshop Icebreakers. Today, I'm gonna to be walking through the top and most used tools for beginners to get you off the ground running. Let's get into it. First up, understanding the contextual taskbar. This is a tool that allows users to find the best next step. It encourages ease of workflow and efficiency because of it being right next to your mouse. So the contextual taskbar is typically located in the center of your workspace. A few of my most used features within this bar, select subjects, I'm going to talk about this more in detail in a second, remove backgrounds to easily and quickly remove your backgrounds. It is also streamlined to encourage ease of editing with type as well, having font, size and color easily accessible. Tip number two, image masking or clear cutting as some of us call it and how to do this effectively. Before we start selecting our objects, I recommend heading into preferences, image processing and changing device to cloud as it will help better perfect results when we're clear cutting. Firstly, as mentioned earlier using the contextual taskbar, click select subject. Editing the selection is also incredibly easy. We can expand the selection using expand selection adjust the pixel size and you can see that we've increased the selection around the dog. We can shrink the selection with contract selection which you can see here and we can even feather it with feather selection. Once you're done click the mask button and your background has been removed. One of my favorite parts about this bar is we can subtract from mask and also add to mask making it really easy to adjust your selection. Technique two, the object selection tool. A great way to select specific objects within an image. Run your mouse across an image and Photoshop highlights specific objects. You can hold down shift to select multiple objects and if Photoshop doesn't seem to recognize a full object, you can select and drag a rectangle over the entire object and Photoshop will shrink the selection around that object. Click mask and you'll remove your background. Tip number three is the art of removing and how to do this efficiently. There are so many different ways you can do this, but let me talk through my two favorites. First up is the remove tool. This tool is great for removing objects with not so complex backgrounds. Simply select the tool and brush over the object you'd like removed. Release your mouse and wait for Photoshop to work its magic, just like this. Top tip, if you want to remove multiple objects at the same time, tick sample all layers and untick remove after each stroke, brush over the objects you want to remove and click enter. Secondly, using generative fill for removal. Using the lasso tool, select your subject. When removing objects, generative fill is perfect when the background has to be somewhat adjusted to look realistic. Leave the prompt blanked and click generate. Generative fill learns to understand more complex images and produces a result that looks realistic and set in scene. You can keep generating prompts until you are happy. Now, to showcase a bit of an example about the differences between the removal tool and also the generative fill removal technique, I'm gonna show you how this works. So we can go over using the removal tool, select your subject, as you can see here, just moving through and selecting the subject, and voila. So you can see the removal tool versus the generative fill tool. The difference is here, the generative fill is really creating that background set and scene. Tip number four, generative expand and generative fill. I'm gonna walk you through a couple of basics here, but with generative expand and generative fill, you can absolutely change the game with your speed and efficiency when it comes to your Photoshopping techniques. Firstly, we're going to head to the crop tool and change the image dimensions to the new size you'd like it to be. In this case, I've gone for 180 by 180, the perfect social post size. We're going to make sure Generative Expand is selected up here and click Generate. And Photoshop is gonna create that surrounding image perfectly. Top tip, place your featured object in its prime position within the artboard so that Photoshop generates the right amount of image in the right place like this example and find your best solution. Next up, the generative fill. Using the lasso tool, select your object that you would like removed as we did in the previous tip. Leave the prompt blank to remove an object and watch as Photoshop does all the work for us. Another quick example, select this section of the image, click generate, leaving the prompt blank and you'll see as Photoshop removes that wooden effect. So we can use a similar technique to add objects into our image using the lasso tool, select the space, click generative fill, type in your object, in this case I've gone for onion slice, and watch as Photoshop generates an awesome image. 
And tip number five, this is going to blow your mind. This is the introduction of the new reference images for generative fill. To use this next feature, you've got to download the Photoshop beta app. To do this, open your Creative Cloud launch pad, find the beta apps, Photoshop beta, and download it. So say we have this image of this woman and we want to change her jacket. Using the selection techniques we learned earlier, select her current jacket using the object selection tool, click generative fill, and we're going to find an image reference. In this case, this beautiful fluffy jacket. Click generate and watch as Photoshop adds this jacket onto her. I mean, isn't this incredible? Look at those highlights and shadows, people. And just for you guys, two of my favorite bonus tips, mask all objects and also the camera raw filter and how to use these. Perfect for quick editing. A tool that has become really useful, right click on your layer and find mask all objects and Photoshop will recognize those objects and make certain selections. Perfect for quickly and easily manipulating your image, shadows, highlights, colors, adjustments, etc. The last tip to make specific selections, Find Filter, Camera Raw Filter, select Mask and Photoshop will recognize your person. Selecting that person making specific selections of your hair, skin, eyes, clothes, perfect for those quick edits and adjustments on your photography. And in this case, changing my hair color. Thank you guys so much for watching this icebreaker session. Hopefully you learned something new or just refined and refreshed your skills. Let me know what you do with these skills and we'll see you all next time.